the mission has started for the Pragyan rover, but a moment of reflection by Israel. आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री जी नमस्कार सर वी हैव अचीव सॉफ्ट लैंडिंग ऑन द मून इंडिया इज ऑन द मून आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री जी नमस्कार सर वी हैव अचीव सॉफ्ट लैंडिंग ऑन द मून इंडिया इज ऑन द मून आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री जी नमस्कार सर वी हैव अचीव सो दैट इज अ वीडियो दैट हैज बीन पुट आउट बाय द इंडियन स्पेस रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड एक्सपेक्टेडली द cheers is understandable for isro imagine and remember the efforts that they must have put in especially after the setback uh, in many ways of chandrayaan 2 it is still on it is still doing experiments even though it could not land on the moon let's uh, get you an expert uh, perspective now joining me on the phone line right now is uh, an astronomer he's professor rc kapoor professor Ram ramesh chandra kapoor is joining us with the latest uh, professor kapoor when we look at these images for for the rest of indians uh, even uh, you know for, for people like us even though we have been tracking these updates it is a moment of celebration but for isro it is about the effort it is about a lot of calculations to understand how, what can go wrong to ensure that doesn't and the mission ahead do tell us about what does it mean for the field of astronomy for the field of science when such an event happens well uh, i think as i saw the reaction of the people and the enthusiasm of the uh, young generation i think 615 crore rupees are well spent and whatever lander and rover do is the bonus we are going to get as scientists so i i am seeing the images on your uh, itech channel right now as uh, pragyan rover is uh, slipping out of the uh, landers uh, uh, that uh, yes, uh, ramp so and i i'm also told that it's already moving around mm -hmm. and it has been programmed like that so it has a stereoscopic camera and then that images are uh, sent to the lander and lander is in communication with orbiter 2 and orbiter 2 is in communication by with idsn and many dsns that is american uh, nasa's uh, goldstone has been tracking uh, from canberra it has been tracked mm -hmm. and at madrid also so from all over the world many space agencies have collaborated with nasa mm -hmm. uh, with uh, isro yes. and uh, uh, the uh, uh, we are also seeing the Uh, the finest uh, uh, fruit mm -hmm. of the effort of the indian scientists lander has got uh, a few instruments they are and uh, so has rover and their intention is to uh, study the uh, mm -hmm. composition of the surface of the moon and get an idea of the interiors of the moon through the seismic uh, that uh, activity uh, that happens on the moon because all of this will uh, uh, combine mm -hmm. to t tell us about the early history of the solar system and the moon because uh, this area is pristine uh, not very uh, much touched by uh, any activity Correct. in the solar system so uh, there we are as uh, the first nation to reach there mm -hmm. even in the form of moon impact probe in uh, 2008 and uh, yesterday mm -hmm. uh, in the evening mm -hmm. when we got the greatest news of if i mm -hmm. think i am so very happy that we i am living in an era when this happened so that's true uh, that's true professor you actually you actually spoken uh, the mind of i think over a billion people when you say that i'm glad to be living in this era where we could watch this live we could actually we'll be telling our children and grandchildren that we could also we were there we were watching live what had happened uh, but professor kapoor let's get real 
uh, the manner in which developed nations like whether it's uh, Russia or USA, uh, China to an extent as well, have been able to pool in all the resources, uh, the funding to their space programs. India is beginning to do that in some way. Uh, even at uh, 615 uh, crores, this was one of the cost-effective projects. Do you think now India needs to focus more, uh, a lot more on its space programs, on, on the space fraternity, on astronomy? Uh, because India clearly has the talent pool. We need to invest in the right resources to provide information via India to the world. Certainly, yes, because then, and you see, uh, one of the images that has been in the round is on the left hand side is a rocket part being carried on a cycle. On the right hand yes. side, you see in that image, uh, GSLV Mark III rocket ready to mm. shoot to the sky. So that uh, tells in 60 years how far we have come. And see, all these engineers and scientists are home product. They did not migrate to the uh, 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 abroad, mm. where other nations. They have stayed here, they have mm. worked, and they have learned all the techniques. And in fact, uh, uh, our educational system has uh, had that um, uh, mm. built into it, mm. uh, the possibility that uh, you can do anything if you so desire. So our engineers and ex uh, scientists are at par and uh, very excellent uh, in terms of their uh, performance and ability. So uh, the future uh, it, uh, is uh, very bright because uh, this is a science mission. There are a few more science missions in the offing, like a uh, mission for Venus and Aditya Elman uh, uh, aimed at the solar corona studies and yeah, space weather studies. Mm. And uh, yeah, I think in a couple of weeks it's going to be uh, uh, launched. And mm. after that, uh, there is a Mars Orbiter Mission 2. So there is no uh, limit and apart there's, from that, yes, there, ISRO has been yes. building uh, there, there's no limit, and I do nation. hope that uh, India becomes one of those nations. It already has, though. When you speak of NASA and ISRO in the same breath, at least to the extent to which space experiments are being conducted by India, that just reflects the sort of determination Indian scientists have. And you've ended on a very good point that, uh, remember, these ISRO scientists and engineers did not migrate. Even though ISRO did not have the, have the best space funding, they stayed on. They contributed here to the country, and now they deserve the acknowledgement that I'm sure they also waited for. Thank you so much, Professor R.C. Kapoor.